What is up everyone, he is your boy, back with another video, and today I have something very special to show you inside of Transformers Earth Wars. As you can see, I have all six pieces I need to make up Superion. That's right, Power Glide was the last member I needed in order to unlock him. And you can see, Firefly is the only four star I currently have. That is specifically for the four star ability Death Ray. You know, I'm already happy with the three, with like, the th four, five three stars and the one four star. So, further ado, let's do it. Oh. Superion unlocked, along with two of his abilities being Rush and Smash and Rocket that Sworn. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 hold on. Look at him. Yo, I love the fact how it looks just like him from the actual G1 TV show. I'll be it by like, um, you have, I mean, you used to have, basically, Slingshot and Fireflight as the arms, and then you had Air Raid and Skydive for the legs, but here, they completely change it up. You now have Fireflight and Alpha Bravo as the legs and Skiff. I don't know about you, but I just, I think I could just prefer the G1 arrangement better than this representation. I don't think I'm just a symbol. There we got the whole gang together. Alpha Bravo being the only helicopter member of the group. They didn't exactly have Power Glide as a member of the Aerial Bots in the original G1 TV show. So, but here, they actually have him as a component of Superion, be it by the actual gun. So, without further ado, I'm going to probably test him out in a ground battle and see how he does. So, I will be right back. Actually, I almost forgot something. Right before we do get to the actual fight itself, there's this brief cutscene you get after unlocking Superion. Superion ready to activate. By the Matrix, the com combiner process has worked. We have still stand a chance to stop the Decepticons. Do I have to see? Yeah. Sector. We already know how this works. What is Org 13? I'm not gonna get started on that. Okay, everyone, this is going to be my of choice, we have Optimus Primal and Fireflight as my weapon of choices. And... Alright, here he is. Alright, so what do I feel like? This one. As he only has like 10,000 10% power, so like I have to go easy on him and when I eventually upgrade him later on he'll be a lot more powerful to do other bases okay where do I feel like deploying him put him here oh that's just said superior as opposed to stand your ground okay what does Oh, that feels just like Devastator's ability on the Decepticon account. 
Oh, speaking of the Decepticon account, I do in fact have the Decepticon account of Transformer Dark Wars on my phone. Still have a bit of things on there to work on. Do that shit again. Seriously, wait, I have a feeling like the Autobot combiners and the Decepticon combiners have the same ability. Like, because I, when I, when I did the Decepticon account on my phone, it was the devastating so like a series of rockets out of his chest. Superion can kind of do the same thing. Ooh, does he have like a freaking smack attack ability? Yeah, of course, we got some lag. <laughs> you started to destroy the entire fence! Talk about property damage, my good sir. Yeah. Ooh, man. I felt good, but I seriously felt honestly good. Do I even want to bother? I'm not gonna risk it. We're doing another zone. But like, Superion is like 10,010 power. So like, obviously he should be able to stand that. Oh, I got it. Where do I put him? Here. Let's take out... Of course, he's not even range. That shit does a lot of damage. I can really tell that. There, that is no longer a problem. Rush your ass over here. Boom, we did it. Probably might be my last one to run out of cyber, not cyber coins, um, fuel cells. I completely have a feeling it's not going to be a good sign. I still have some of these guns first, as there is a primary problem. Like with all these levels. But now let's destroy this command center. Oh no, I don't have any more fuel cells left. Well, how much is it then? Oh, five. Bullshit. Alright guys, so I just wanted to end the video real quick of 
upgrading Superion. Um, takes about 18 hours for him to upgrade. Um, hopefully he'll be done before you know it. Maybe pretty soon I'll do a future video on a four-star version of him. Let's see, what else do I have? I'm still working on Volcanicus. Oh, you have a three-star Grimlock and Snarl. A, a four-star Swoop. I still need to get my hands on Slug and Sludge. I'll be hit by either a three-star or a four-star. Uh, I have no idea who the hell these balls are. Um, slowly but surely working on Skyrim. Victorian's another one I'm working on. Um, at least need one more component to make up Defensor, that of which being Blaze. Um, Magma Boss, Optimus Maximus, we still need a 3 or 4 star Ironhide, um, Sunstreaker or Mirage, and then Computron. I already have at least 2 3 stars and 2 4 stars, I just need um, a 3 or 4 star light speed. Light why is light speed so hard to find along with blaze? So like, because well, half the time they don't even give me a three or four star. They just give me like the exact same Autobahn Decepticon I already own, like a three or four star. It's mostly one, no, two stars. And yes, Omega Supreme, which I had unlocked during the War for Cybertron campaign. And the Decepticon version, you get, um, Overlord. My god, I seriously doubt he's named after the enemy, Overlord. Who knows? That's just theory. One I'm not entirely sure about, actually. Well, that, my friends, will do it for Superion. If you have enjoyed this video, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you turn on notifications, that way you don't miss out on future videos like these, and let me know in the comment section down below if I should do more Transformers or Wars videos like these, I actually have a lot of fun doing this, so I will see you guys later.